um, just FYI, he is um, limiting his appointments this month and he's trying to take some time off on the boat. And so um, we are very, very fortunate. I don't, is he on the call yet? I don't see him yet. Um, no, I don't think so. I don't um, see him. And so he's going to be talking about the unlimited, you know, power of building, you know, in your production as well as in your revenue share. And um, you guys, he and I have been chatting this morning until he gets on. Maybe I'll share some of the things we've been chatting about. And that is that other companies, you guys are bleeding in this market. And so, you know, the, the, the challenge is what can we do to adapt and increase our production? And also the opportunity in revenue share is, is pretty unprecedented from even the, the past decade. And so I'm excited. Is he, is he on the call yet? Let's see him. Nope. Okay. Um, well, Tom, you know, you're the, the master of production until he gets on. Um, what are you doing? Um, what are your agents doing in, in respect to increasing their production? Well, you know, I go to the basics, keep it simple. And right now, let's just go with the six steps for doing more in this market right now. Um, and then also always starts with Here's mindset. Gene. Number one is it starts with mindset. You know, we have to have a positive mindset in this market and think possibilities. And then number two, continually play offense, you know, with our database, with our lead generation, with our time. We have to protect our time. And like with a chainsaw, when we have it in our schedule, arm, 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 cut it out with a chainsaw and protect it with your life. Number three is listen more than ever, listen to your clients, listen to your agents, listen to others, listen to the market. Number four is live outside your comfort zone. Everything like John Maxwell says, everything you want and need is just beyond your comfort zone. Number five is focus on what you can control. So many uncontrollables right now. Focus on what you can control. And then number six, live with certainty in uncertain times. So I think Jean is here. So Jackie, back to you. Hey, Jean, are you there? Looks like he dropped out, but he's coming back in right now. Okay. Um, you guys were so privileged to have him. Again, he is um, limiting his appointments this, this month. And I reached out to him and he he so graciously agreed. And he's he's got some powerful things to share. And by the way, he's on his boat. It looks um, like he is on his boat. Yeah. And, you know, Gene, we're, we're so sorry to hear you're on your boat today. Um, so <laughs> I, I just I just have um, the most respect for you, my friend. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're so grateful to have you. And just take it away. Thanks, Tom, for sharing those six steps, which are um, really foundational. And Gene, tell us about, you know, building an unlimited production business and unlimited revenue share. Okay, we can't hear you. Oh, oops, you're muted. There, there we are. Go. There we there go. Are. are we better oh. now? Okay, good. Yes, you are. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry I'm on the naughty nickel. I'm sorry about that. I'm very sorry, but I got to do it with my family's out there snorkeling. I'm going to go over... You know, I, I don't have quite six things. I'm going to start with a story with production. Let's talk production first. Um, just so you guys know, this is my fourth downturn. Now, let me tell you about my first, because I have the feeling, don't you, Jackie, that this is probably their first downturn for most of the people on the call, okay? Here's what I want you guys to, to think about as I tell you this story, because it's live, it's what I went through. I want you to start writing down how this correlates to what's happened to you in the last year or two. I got in the business in 1985. And eight months later, I thought I was doing well for my first year. I sold about 14 homes my first eight months, and then the market crashed in Texas. Now, this is what you all were feeling, I think, last spring. If you were in the business last spring anywhere in the nation, it kind of happened at that time. Literally in Texas, the market crashed. What I mean by crashed Hello. is 
Oops, you guys there? Yeah. I had yeah. four. Yeah, I got it. I had fourteen listings at that time in August of uh, 1985. None of them sold, and literally they all went to foreclosure. Okay, and my hometown was on 60 Minutes twice. Now, what happened to me in August is going to happen to all of you like last spring. What do you do? What happens? Well, guess what I did? I saved up my money and I went to a seminar. I went to a three-day seminar, right? And of course, builds coming up June 10th, 11th, and 12th. This kind of correlate to what's going to happen to you in your life now. But I went to a Tommy Hopkins seminar. You guys don't even know who Tommy Hopkins was, but he was the leading sales trainer back then. And uh, flew to another state, came back. And guess what I did for the first time in my life? And this is what I want you guys to think about. First time in my life, I wrote down a game plan. I wrote my goals out for the next year, 1986. Here we go. And I'm going to sell 50 homes next year. Now, you got to understand, I had only sold 14 the year before. I'm going to sell 50. And here's my game plan. I mean, Jackie, I was detailed. Here's how many open houses I'm going to sell. Here's how many, whatever I was, whatever activities I was going to do. They were, the strategy was there. Now, here comes January uh, 1986. I have to have, uh, I, I reminds me of Jackie. Not, not really, but I had to have a meeting with my manager. Her name was Agnes Williamson. Back then we had, you know, yearly meetings. And she goes, what are you going to do next year, Gene? I said, well, I'm going to sell 50 homes. And I took out of my pocket a game plan. Here it is, all written out. And she started to laugh at me. Now, guys, at our company in the 80s, nobody was selling 50 homes a year. There was all individual agents. There were no teams. She says, nobody in our company of 800 agents has ever sold 50 homes a year. And she started to laugh at me. Well, guess what? Sitting next to her was a gentleman named Mike Brody. And Mike goes, Gene, thank heaven. He was my broker at the time. He goes, Gene, you can do anything you want to do. So write that down. You better have a cheerleader. You better have somebody in your life that believes in everything you're going to do. Luckily, I walked out of that meeting. Okay, Mike, I'm going to go after it. Now, let's fast forward. A year goes by, 1986. I did not sell a home with furniture in it the whole year. Everything was a foreclosure. Everything was vacant. Like I said, we were on 60 minutes twice. Developers were killing themselves. It, it, was, it was brutal. We lost half the realtors in the state of Texas in three years. Okay, just debacle. But here's the key I wanna tell you. When I wrote those goals down for the first time in my life, I made a decision. I'm not going back to what I was doing before. I was an accountant before, and I had done accounting for six years for big corporations. I made a decision in my life, hey, I don't care what the market is. You know what, guys? I'm going to do this. I am going to figure it out in this market. What's it take to sell in this market? So at the end of the year, out of 800 agents, guess what? Here comes the award, Jackie. Here comes the awards banquet. And, and I'm just a young kid. I'm 30 years old. And I'm sitting there, and I'm going, okay. Ten, number 10, no, no, nine, no. Gets down to top five. I go, man, I didn't make it in units sold. Boom, number one, they announced my name. I am shocked. I am shocked. Guess what, guys? My second year in the business, I sold 56 homes. The goal was 50. Now, what's cool about, I had no idea I was going to be, you know, and I'm, on, and I'm backstage after getting the award out of 800 agents. And guess what, Jackie? The, uh, the owner, her name was Susan, Susan Dunn Arnold. Uh, she goes, Gene, what are you going to do next year? That was unbelievable. You sold 56 homes. And guess what I did? I reached into my coat pocket. I wasn't wearing a t-shirt then. I was wearing a nice coat. And I reached in my coat pocket and I pulled out my goals for the next year. And I said, Susan, I'm going to sell 100 homes this year. And all my detail, I mean, I, it was with me. It was with me at the awards bank my goals for the next year, written down, all my goals. And you know what? <laughs> she gave me the same doggone look that Agnes Williamson gave the year before. Like, you gotta be, nobody's been mad. You're crazy. Now let's think about what I just told you. By the way, guess what did I sold by the third year of the business? You probably can predict, I sold over a hundred homes, three years in a row. 
the market should not dictate what you do, period. I don't care what, you know, guys, if you're in a market that's going down or up, I don't even know where you guys are. We're all over the nation, I'm sure it's right. But wherever you are, it's your market in your head. It's your market in your head and you have to be dedicated. Now, uh, for the next couple of years, I was, I was uh, invited to speak at events like the Women's Council of Realtors and, and awards. How did, how did you do that? And you know what I told them? And this is what I want you to take away from this story. For the first time in my life, I wrote my goals down. I wrote my goals down in my own handwriting. I wrote out my own strategy for, for Jackie, what I was good at. Not what people told me to do, but what I said, I know I can do that. And once I did that, guys, and I became a really good lead generator, Guess what I knew as a realtor? I could go anywhere in the nation. Plot me in Atlanta tomorrow. Plot me in Denver. Plot me anywhere. Within six months, I'll be successful because I understood the game of lead generation. And I understood that if I wrote my goals down, I'd be successful. Um, anybody got any comments on that story? Anything you're taking away from it? I'd love to hear. It. Have a plan. There you go, John. And work the plan, baby. And, and I love, yeah, I love detailed plan, not just I'm going to work harder, right? I, how many open houses? How many a week? How many a month? Um, how many agencies are you going to sign every single month? Agency agreements? How many under contracts? Like a detailed plan. Uh, I love that. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it is. That's really important, Jackie, because if it's not detailed, if it's not detailed, you can't track it. You can't see if it's working. So if you guys decide, hey, I'm going to go do this, like I'm going to go do social media. I mean, I never had social media when I sold in the 80s, right? Everybody goes, how do you sell them any at home? Well, guess what? It was the old fashioned way, right? It really wasn't that hard. And by the way, I want you to know when I was selling that many homes, I sold over 400 homes my first four, five years in the business. I wasn't, I wasn't stressed. Why I wasn't stressed is I knew how to go get business. I knew how to lead generate in my market. And I knew, I knew what I could do to lead generate, okay? Write your goals down. A lot of people go, hey, I got them on my computer. They're at home. I go, are they with you 365 days a year? Try that for size. Next time I see you at Build, when I see you at Build in July 10th, 11th, and 12th, where you're going to be with other top producers, they're sharing everything they're doing that's working in their market. That's where I would go. I would make sure I don't miss an event like that where you can you can get with other top producers and they share everything. That's what I would do in this market. And again, I was I think somebody paid my airfare to go to that meeting. I know I did. I didn't have the money. I know back then. So have a vision, guys. You know, if you don't have a vision, you don't have one. Yeah, Randy. You know, Gene, what comes up for me, man, it's so good to see you out there with the family, by the way, and, and you look great, brother. What comes up to me is in front of all that stuff is mindset. It's it's the belief that you're going to do it. It's the commitment to doing it. And so many agents are in this like 50-50 zone with their belief. And it's they're still plugging into the news. They're still plugging into the things that keep eroding that belief. And when you make a goal of 50 or 100 homes in that kind of a market, what do you do to get that Put, put that belief in place for yourself, right? I think that would be valuable for people because they know they shouldn't be doing it, but it's still, it's easy to get in that pattern of disbelief. And, and then you, you make two steps forward and you get knocked back one or two. How do you, over all these years and through four markets, how do you focus on what's in front of you, the windshield, not the rearview mirror and the side mirrors? Here's what happens. This is my fourth downturn. The top agents love downturns. Here's why. They know for the first time, the agents that are marketing certain areas, I actually would go up in price in this market. I would go, I would farm, write this down. I would farm a new area. If you're farming 250 homes, pick another 250. If you're farming 500, pick another 500. Because during these times, what, what, what the top agents realize, I just talked to one the other day that Brandon, you and I know, uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin and Amy Smiths, they're, they're doing real well. He says, Gene, we double down in this. We market more in a down market because we realize everybody else is going to pull back, right? 
So that's what I would do. I, the mindset is now you're going to go get more market share. Go up in price. If you've always wanted to be a luxury agent and you to pick another up, up market, go pick it. And I'm a big farmer, uh, Randy. When I say that, a farmer of homes, they don't move. You guys understand that? They don't move except in East Texas and a little bit in Arkansas. You know, they're on wheels. But quite honestly, the, the homes don't move. And everybody goes, well, farming takes a long time. I said, well, of course it does. But why don't you do it? Well, the top agents tell me it doesn't work. I said, well, those top agents are the ones farming. I would go pick an area. I'd go farm it. I would, I would. And when I teach farming, that is my area. That is my neighborhood. I know more about it than anybody. And I go to every event. And it's not about spending money, guys. It's about being there. It's about being there at the events, getting to know people, uh, do the poker club, the, uh, the bunko club, do everything in that neighborhood to socialize and you can make money. I love it. I love it. And, you know, Gene, I love your, you know, you know, partner with people who believe with you, believe in you. Because that's going to feed your mindset. You know, sometimes you have to borrow someone, someone else's belief. You know, when you've had a rough day, that that's why, you know, I, I, I love this organization. I love this company because we believe, you know, we partner with you. We lock arms with you and we believe that you can do it when no one else can. Can I tell you another little story? Now, there's a production story. Guys, I sold homes for 11 years of my career. Loved the heck out of it. Then I started getting into stupid Don Yoakum stuff. We started opening up offices. Now, you better laugh, Don. So Don and I were partners. We, we thought, oh, we'll open up franchises. That's how we'll get um, residual income. Guys, the franchise model is dead. It's, it's, it's so sad. Now, here's what I want to tell you guys. The second story is, eight years ago, uh, supposedly... I'm at the top of my game. I, I've been 21 years at Keller Williams. I own six offices in a region. I own a region. And, and everybody's like, and I sold it all. And I came to a little company called EXP. Now, let me tell you what I did that. Now, you got to understand, learn my lesson. Learn the skill. Learn the skill of vision. Learn the skill of vision. I went, well, how did I do it last time? I'm going to write down my goals. I'm going to be very specific. And I'm going to get residual income into my life through revenue share. I did a vision board. I can show it to you. Um, it had yachts all over it. Don't ask me why. I'm a guy from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm a desert rat. I'm not a, I'm not a sailor. You know, this is how I sail. You know, I'm a passenger. Now, saying that, if I'm going to go do this and sell everything and start all over at the age of 59, I'm going to have a big vision. I'm going to have a big vision of where I want to take my family and what I want to do for my legacy. And that's through revenue share. And I got news for you. Guess what I did? I wrote my goals down. Oh, it's amazing. In my own handwriting, I'm going to, I'm going to meet somebody at 10 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and 3 o'clock. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. By the way, taken off on the weekends. Guess what I did? I only had to do it for three years. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. By the way, it wasn't every single day because sometimes I got a call from San Antonio from Scott Lewis saying, hey, can you come down here and do a lunch and learn? I drive down there and do a lunch and learn. Rob Flick in Dallas. Hey, Gene, come on out here. Boom, boom, boom. Brent Gove would call me from Sacramento. So I wasn't doing it every single day there, but sometimes I had to fly and build my revenue share. Here's what I want you to know. About a year into it, year and a half into it, I had a meeting with another Susan Dunn Arnold. Hate to say that, that name, but it was our CEO at the time. I'm not going to say his name because I've forgotten it. But he says, Gene, and at that time we were like 1,500 agents in this whole company. He said, How are we going to get to 100,000 agents? Guess what I told him? I reached into my pocket in, and I took it out. I said, Here's how we're going to get to 100,000 agents. Boom, 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 boom. And he looked at me like, who are you? Guys, I've had the, I knew where we were. And he looked at me like, just like Susan Van Harlem did. It's amazing. When people don't believe, when people don't have big visions, get away from them. Get away from them. I told, I told Glenn Sanford after meeting with that guy. I said, Glenn, this guy ain't taking us nowhere. 
He gave me the look I still had 30 years ago when people go, oh, you can't do that. Nobody goes from 400 agents to 100,000 agents in five years. God news, it was my vision. I got news for you. And that was Glenn's vision. That was Jason Gessie's vision. You know, so all of a sudden we get people in our way. You got to remember, you're going to have people in your way that, oh, 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 nobody sold that many homes in this market. Oh, nobody, nobody's got that much red share. You know what? Get away from me. Now I'm on my, on my vision board. I'm the largest yacht in the Caribbean, the power yacht, uh, power catamaran in Eastwood. And I got news for you. I'm still as passionate about you guys. I wake up every day going, how can I help real estate agents? And that's why I'm on this call because Jackie calls, Don calls, Randy calls, I'm there. Tom calls, I'm there. Because guys, you, you're, you're the future. You're it. You're it. You're out there every day. And I love you guys. But I want you to wake up, make your own vision. By the way, I was excited when I went to um, shareholders and I run into Don Yoko and he goes, Gene, congratulations on the, on the yacht, man. And I run into Jane, hey, congratulations. Not one person was a Susan Don Arnold. Not one person was, oh, man, really? Do you need that? Not one person gave me that look that I got. I'm with my peeps now. I'm with the people that want us to succeed. You guys, this group that you got, you hang out. You lock arms. You lock arms with this group. They're going to take you wherever you want to go. And, and, and that's really hard to find in life, isn't it, Jackie? It's yes. easier to find the people that want to tear you down. <laughs> that's to, to me it is. And, and, or to say, oh, you can't do that, whatever. And uh, my son just asked me, uh, he's, he's scuba diving for the first time, my 41-year-old son. It's so key. He goes, hey, what's your goals now, Dad? What's your goals now? I said, I, I don't know. I guess... Let's go on a safari together. I'd love to take your kids when they're old enough to understand. I said, I just came back from a safari. Let's go do that. I'm, I'm going to have new, new, new vision board. I'm going to have new vision board for whatever I want to do. And just go do it, guys. You, you can do this. Whatever you want to do. It's, it's like Randy said. It's not just mindset. It's getting around other people with the right mindset. Hey, you know, Gene, I, I love that. And you know what? I actually have your little two minute video um, on your naughty nickel. Um, can I can I share that really quick? Would that be helpful? Would you, yeah, I think. Look, let's, can I stay on the line, Gene? Because we still want to hear from you. But and I share wanna, the right. sound, Jackie, when you, okay. when you share the screen, share the sound. OK, OK, thank you. Oh, that's such a great tip. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. <laughs> this is why. Um, yeah, this is a treat. Can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. You can hit play and then and then maximize it on the bottom right. Perfect. Give me goosebumps.
I love it. And you know what? I mean, I, I just, I, you know, I just think about the opportunity we have in front of us, Jean. And can you talk about maybe, you know, a plan? What what could be done? We have build coming up um, July 10th through 12th. Share, share with me your perspective on that because the opportunity is so big. Um, agents are struggling, brokerages are struggling, um, teams are struggling. So please, please speak to that. Well, you've got to get around the people that are that are making it. Because yeah, we, we talk about struggling, but there's a lot of people not struggling, right? There's a lot of people that want to share what they're going to do for you. Now, the best thing, and Jackie, you've noticed it, I've noticed it, Randy's noticed it, the common dog. I've never met in a company that doesn't that shares like we do, that cares like we do. It's not just sharing, it's like guys. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what I'm going to do for you. Here's how, here's how it's going to go. Um, I would not miss an event. You know what I notice about the events now? The top people always go. Jackie, the top, the top agents never miss because they understand it's like exercise in a down market. Uh, you know, when, when the stock market was going down in 2008, 2009, I was working out in the gym and, and the, the head of the gym goes, the CEOs never miss their workout. He concentrated on CEOs. He says, they're always working out because they, they realize this is the time you've got to work out more because they're, you know, it's a tough time. They had to lay off some people. So in this time, what I would do, guys, come in on Monday, you know, stay Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, come in on Monday. Uh, it's only a two day, two and a half day event. Um, I'll meet with you. I'll share anything I've got. I'll get you with some of the top, top agents. If you're, and by the way, we're talking about production. This is a production event. When I say that, well, of course, we're going to talk about attraction a little bit, but quite honestly, everybody's instructed to bring their best, best ideas for production in this market. So if you're struggling in production, which I know a lot of people have, come to it, get those ideas while you're there. While you're there, you make your game plan. Make your game plan. My advice, bring your spouse, bring your partner, bring whoever you want to bring, because God news for you, you need to commit need to commit right then. Just imagine, Jackie, how I was eight years ago when I went to Susan and said, honey, I think we ought to sell everything that we had worked 21 years at KW for to start a new company. I mean, the look I got is exactly what you're doing. I The look I got was, are you kidding me? What Are you crazy? And I said, honey, I'm the same age that, that uh, Colonel Sanders was when he started Kentucky Fried Chicken. And she, I said, look it up. And he lived another 30 years, and that's what I'm going to go do. So in other words, did it work out? Yeah. Yeah. Take a risk. But I've never missed an EXP event. I mean, I'm, if, if you've got one closer to you than another EXP event, go to it. Just, just don't miss them. Don't get around top producers. That's what I would say, Jackie, at this point in time. I, I would not miss anything like that. Double, uh, put three or four people in a room. If you can't afford it, sleep on the floor. Mm -hmm. Don't miss an event. I love it. And, you know, you know, what could we do to bring, bring a guest, bring a key guest, bring, bring, you know, what can we do now to, because you know, that's one thing that I, I committed to doing is I'm not going to miss an event, A, and <laughs> I'm not going alone. And um, Trev is on the call, uh, came with me to Cabo and um, no, I'm sorry, Maui and Cabo, and um, we built her, started to build her team, her organization as well. So what can we do before July 10th to not only get there and also bring a guest? Awesome. Well, this is great. Thanks, Jackie. Thank you so much, Jean. Um, any final words, any parting words, Jean? You know, I, I, my parting words is I think it's the best time to ever be a realtor right now. Best time ever. Everybody goes, ah, you know, I, I think there'll be more wealth built in the next three years by realtors than ever before. Go get your share in. We're going to pay out over $1 billion in four years in rev share. Go get that and go get your production. So can't wait to see you guys at the next event. Love all you guys. Thanks, Gene. Thanks, Gene. Thanks, Gene. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks so much, Gene. Thank you so much. You, Jackie. All right. So good. All right, quick announcement. Thanks, brother. Have a great Friday, day. 9 yeah. to 9.30 this Friday. We've got Frank Clevitz from Viral Marketing. 
and he's going to share the magical seller lead generation listing lead generation email and multiple other things how to get immediate response from your emails and how to get listings right now Frank Clevitz the CEO of viral marketing that, that's his Friday 9 to 9 30 Pacific so thanks y'all for being here Jackie any final words from you no, you guys, I just say, you know, the, the, the market is, is it's a great, it's a great opportunity in production to double down and, you know, control the, control the controllables. You can control how many people you talk to. You can, you can control how many people you follow up with. And, you know, in revenue share, you guys, the opportunity has just never been better. It's just never been better. So I'm pumped up. I'm excited. Let, let's, let's grow it together. Love it. All right. Thanks, Jackie. Thanks, y'all. Have a good day. Okay. Let's go.